Hey, this is Brian from The Sleeping Elephant. I'm going to review Reinvent Yourself by James Altucher. This is an awesome book to get back into the game. There's a cool writing style, somewhat like an Evernote list or creating lists of advice. And he's very creative in who he chooses to write about, who he learns from, such as Coolio. And who would think that Coolio had a cooking show? Being cool and relaxing like The Sleeping Elephant. Use examples from Ken Shamrock, Kurt Vonnegut, Mob Deep, Shook Ones, and Eminem, who chooses himself while he loses himself in the moment. Also, a pretty good chapter from Six Things I Learned from Charles Bukowski, a writer I'm stoked to check out. I have not read any of his work. Scott Adams from Dilbert and Charlie Chaplin, who I have a connection with. The advice is blunt. Take action. Choose yourself like his other book, which costs 99 cents. That is a must read. School doesn't matter anymore. There is a entrepreneurial revolution as well as a small business. Corporates, too much drama, too much political correctness. I do consider this an extension of Choose Yourself or a sequel, such as Idea Sex, Great Tips. No gatekeepers, just hit publish. Create something like 50,000 works of art that Picasso did. And it's kind of like Babe Ruth, where he just swings at every pitch. Or just goes for the home run. Always be testing. Don't just make it about money. Follow your passion. Understand bias and negative bias versus positive bias. Most people are attracted or get confused with the negative bias. And it's important to be optimistic. Be an individual and be positive. He also talks about Lao Tzu and Buddhism, which you have to understand the Tao. Don't say no. And you can do your own research on James Altucher, but I know he bounced back several times from his life, from not being liked, from failed businesses, from divorce, from not even liking himself. And he powered his way through everything. He bounced back after depression and failure and kept himself busy with junk, that he didn't leave time for himself spiritually. Some of the things I didn't vibe with were some of the style, especially now they have a clickbait style we have to capture the person right away. Something that I don't really do as much. I tend to do my better stuff in the middle or in the end. I didn't care too much about the Shark Tank chapter. Uh, I found it too commercial. Other than the fact that if you fail on that show, you can find other opportunities from that rejection. It's kind of like a launch pad or your 15 minutes of fame to continue. Also, you had some YouTube kind of stars, Mimi and Alex Icon. I find them very annoying. I see them on YouTube. Uh, she's cute and cool, but Alex is a little wimpy. Oh, they got a cool hub and spoke tactic that you can read about. I do fully agree on not watching the news, just reading books. Here's a little quote from the book, a little mini story. She said, I'm an introvert, but had to develop tricks to fake being an extrovert because of where I worked. I said, do you think everyone in LA is an extrovert? She said, I don't know. Maybe they're all faking. A little bit of truth and humor to keep you in the game. Bluntly, my advice would be to read, travel, and take action. Do I do those things? Yes. Or I'm sleeping. He does give that big advice of just hit publish. For instance, many of his books just cost 99 cents. There's no excuse to not read this guy. If you have Kindle Unlimited, you could read most of his books. This book costs $2, which is pocket change, a McDouble, or four Jack in the Box tacos. And after the reading this book, I decided to do more of these videos. So it tells you something about this book. Especially after going to Berkeley and seeing what's going on in Berkeley, I had a chance to kind of reignite and get back into the game of uh, doing these book reviews. He's got a cool podcast and blog. I don't really listen to many of his podcasts. I think I'm going to start listening to him. I do. I have communicated many times with him. He's very accessible on Reddit, I believe, Quora. I got in touch with him maybe about a year back. He would do like Twitter feed answers and I got maybe like 30 questions answered over a few months. And he's always out there to help people. He's always connecting with people. He's a great guy, and I would check out this book. It'll keep your blood flowing. All right, thanks for listening.